Welcome to Mass Guru. T today we are going to discuss indices and we are going to focus basically on exponential equations reduced to quadratic forms. Exponential equations reduced to quadratic forms. So we are going to learn how to resolve exponential equations. And we recall that in indices, we, when we have series of number multiplied like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 raised to the power of 4. And when we have um, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, five times we say it is three raised to the power of five in this case this number two is called the base and number four here is called the power or the index you can also call it the exponent same way we have three as the base and then five as the index, let me use this here, index or the power or the exponents. So anyone you want to use, you can use from the words I give to you. We talk of the power, the index or the exponents. So, they are the same uh, terms. They are talking about the same thing. So, you can say 3 raised to the power of 5 or 3 index 5. Take note of this. So, this is just a recap of um, some aspect of indices earlier treated. And we must have also learned the law of indices. We have several laws of indices. The multiplication law, talk of multiplication law, where we have number of the same base multiplying itself like 3 raised to the power of 4 times 3 raised to the power of 2. We retain the base and add their respective uh, index together. 4 plus 2 to have uh, 3 raised to the power of 6. That is multiplication law. Then we have the division law. The division law where if we have uh, 3 raised to the power of 4 over 3 raised to the power of 2, we retain the bases. The base are the same. They are common. And then we subtract the power of the denominator from the power of the numerator which is 4 minus 2 that is the power of the numerator on top and the power of the denominator down and we will now have 3 raised to the power of 2 as our final answer we also have other laws there like negative index law the zero uh, index law Okay, let's quickly retweet that. We have um, zero index law. According to this, any number raised to the power of zero is one. Three raised to the power of zero, one. Right? Uh, five raised to the power of zero, one. One thousand raised to the power of zero, one. Five hundred raised to the power of zero is equal to one. So anything at all raised to the power of zero is one. M raised to the power of zero is one. You can say S raised to the power of zero is still equal to one. Um, M raised to the power of zero is still equal to one. So that is for zero index law then we have a negative index law that is number four now negative index law where we have the power 
the index or the exponents being negative like 3 raised to the power of minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2 which is the same thing as 1 over 9 1 over 9 that is for negative index uh, law then we have other laws like uh, the fractional index so that is where i'm going to stop for now that is number five fractional index law index law according to this if we have a number like this raised to the power of another number which is a fraction like this is raised to the power of half so since this is 2, the denominator is 2, we take the square root of this number, the base, and then raise it to the power of that denominator, I mean the numerator. So we're going to have the square root of 3 raised to the power of 1. And remember, 1 is always invisible in uh, expression like this, algebra, uh, indices, logarithm we do not uh, often put one so take note of that so when you do not see anything like this you know that it is one any whole number is raised to the power of one take note of that so if we have um, let's see another example if we have m raised to the power of two over five all we need to do here is to take the fifth root since the denominator is five we take the fifth root of the base which is m and raise it to the numerator make the numerator the power by so doing we have fully expressed this all right before we go into exponential uh, equation let's uh, quickly talk about something if we have um and indices raised to the power of maybe something outside like let me use example like m raised to the power of 2 over 5 and everything is raised to the power of 5 again you can see this has a power already m has a power and everything is also raised to the power of 5 outside so what we need to do in this case is to multiply through that is we multiply what we have in the bracket the power of the bracket here but the power we have outside the bracket and that will give us m raised to the power of 2 over 5 times 5 and remember how we do quotes our uh, numbers we simply say 5 year 1 5 year 1 and the remaining will be 2 times 1 over 1 times 1 that is 2 over 1 which is the same thing as 2 and so we are going to have m raised to the power of 2 take note of this so now you continue with us to exponential equations exponential equations which we be reduced to a quadratic form now if you take a look at this uh, first question we have 3 raised to the power of x everything raised to the power of 2 plus 2 into bracket 3 raised to the power of x bracket close minus 3 is equal to 0 we are expected to resolve this and find the value of x how do we go about this this is the uh, sort of equations that we have to reduce it to the quadratic form then resolve to find the value of x now look at what we are going to do take a look at what we have in the brackets here we have uh, 3x we have uh, 3x here also if you multiply this out you're going to have 3 raised to the power of 2x plus 2 times this which you will not have any headway of for us to resolve this well what we need to do is interpret this so 
by making a representation here we are now going to equate this three raised to the power of x to an algebraic uh, term for instance we can say let m be equal to three raised to the power of x now that we've made m to be equal to three raised to the power of x anywhere we see three raised to the power of x now we put m anywhere we see three raised to the power of x we put m so we are going to have in place of this first one we are going to have three sorry we're going to have m raised to the power of two plus two into m minus three equal to zero so we are now going to have m square plus two times m we're going to have two m minus three equal to zero from here we can now uh find the value of m we solve in uh, uh, quadratically to find the value of um, m and in doing this we can do this by factorization here yeah, we can do it by factorization and remember by factorization what we need to do is multiply the first term by the last term to have uh, negative 3m square and then the middle term we take it 2m so we look for in two terms that if we multiply we are going to have negative 3m square and if we add these terms we're going to have uh, 2m what are these terms that when we multiply we'll have them we'll have this and when we when we add or subtract we're going to have this so let's consider um 3m minus m and see 3m minus m we give us 2m definitely right and then 3m times minus m we give us negative m square definitely this we go so in place of this term now we put 3m minus m so let's quickly do that we're going to have m square positive 3m minus m minus the 3 that is there, everything equal to 0 so let's factorize by grouping we group in tools so we have this m is common to this so we bring m out m squared divided by m we're going to have m 3m divided by m we're going to have 3 then we have negative what is common to this uh, m and 3 is 1 so m divided by 1 we have m negative by negative positive then uh, 3 equal to 0 so we have m minus 1 and then we pick any one in the bracket There's the same thing so we have m plus 3 in this case we have everything equal to 0 so it's either m minus 1 equal to 0 or m plus 3 equal to 0 so m will be equal to 0 plus 1 which is 1 or m will be equal to 0 minus 3 which is negative 3 now we have found the value of m but we recall that from our analysis i mean the, the interpretation we said let m be equal to 3 raised to the power of x so we are now coming to equate so we say for the first one m is equal to 3 raised to the power of x and we have m to be equal to 1 so we say 1 is equal to 3 raised to the power of x 
can remember the law of indices. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Therefore, we can say 3 raised to the power of 0 is 1 and is equal to 3 raised to the power of x. Now we have a common base. So we equate the index. So we have 0 equal to x. That is to say s is equal to 0. That is one of uh, the value of x. But we have to continue to see if we can have uh, other value for x. So we have um, m again equal to 3 raised to the power of s. Another value of m here is negative 3 equal to 3 raised to the power of f. Is there anything that we can raise to another power to give us um, 3? No, 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 no. And so, the only value of x that we can have here certified is x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. So, s equal to 0 satisfy this equation which was uh, resolved. Follow this format to resolve other questions that will be sent to you and if anything is not clear, we will try to make up by sending other quiz, I mean, uh, questions resolved to the platform so you will understand the whole expression. I will be with you to explain further.